Hey friends, how you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Tom today. We're studying Daf Samach Tes, Daf 69 of Masech and Adar, friends. Mm, well, today we're studying uh, random stuff. I don't know, random technical stuff about Nadar. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Bye, Rav Asakash. We're on Daf Samach Tes, Umud Aleph, about four or five lines into the Umud. Bye, Rav Rav Asakash. Although I think the Ran has the gears of Rabba by all of these. Ugh, what do you want me to do? I'm just going to read it like it says. Boy, you rub it. Right, but then the next one's Rabba. Oh, you vav. Wait, friends, what do I do? Rabba. Boy, Rabba, Rabba, Asakashi. Is Shayla Behekim? Let me just make sure. Yeah, yes, you know. Boy, Rabba, Rabba, Asakashi. Is Shayla Behekim? Yes, Shayla Behefer. Oh, ain't Shayla Behefer. Okay. So. Um, what? No, I skipped. I skipped. I skipped. Bye, Rabbi. Yes, she le behekim or ain't she le behekim? Intim silomar. Yes, she le behekim. Yes, she le behefer or ain't she le behefer? You hear the kasha? Let's read it again. Bye, Rabbi. Rabbi asked the kasha. Yes, she le behekim. No, if the if the uh, if the uh, let's say you know let's say the uh, fiance um, um, is making the nether, right? She says, "I'm not eating pizza." He says, "Fine, don't eat pizza." So can you say, "Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. You have to eat pizza." No, or at least you can't make pizza like a Corbin to you. That would be very, very, uh, 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 he says, I don't feel comfortable with that. Oh, ain't Shayla Beckham. Or maybe once he says, if you don't want to eat pizza, don't eat pizza. So then that's that. No more pizza. And if you say that, okay, look, if, you, if she says, I'm not eating pizza, and he, she, and he says, fine, don't eat pizza. If you say, he could say, you know what, actually, one second. No, uh, don't, 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 don't do that. Uh, you can eat pizza. So he could do that. But what about if he's made for it? What if she says, I'm not eating pizza, and he says, uh, no way, no how. You're not doing that. Can he change his mind and say, actually, you know what, if you don't want to eat pizza, don't eat pizza. Toshmat Omer Biochanan says Rabbi Yochanan Shalom Ale Hekim Vein Shalom Ale Hefer says Rabbi Yochanan that if he says fine don't eat pizza so then so then he could say you know what actually I take it back I don't want you doing that uh, you know you don't have to eat pizza but uh, it's not like a Corbin to you but uh, if he if he says if he's made for the nether against pizza. So then he can't change his mind, right? So if he says, fine, don't eat pizza, he could change his mind and say, no, you can't eat pizza. But if he uh, says you, that, no, you can't eat pizza, uh, he can't rescind that. Let's go weiter. But Rabbi, Rabbi asks Akasha, ki im lichi, ki im lichi. So if you use Mekayim twice, so she says, I'm not eating pizza. And he says, fine, don't eat pizza, fine, don't eat pizza. Venishal al hakome rishone. And then he changes his mind about the first one. Mao, what about the second one? Tashmad Amarabah says, Rabbi Mnishal, or maybe this is Rav? Rav. Oh. Tashmad Amarabah says, Rav, Mnishal al Rishona, Shneer Chalal. That if he uh, undoes the initial don't eat pizza, um, the second one remains. He would have to undo that one as well, I guess. But Rabbi, Rabbi asks, Akasha, Kiyam Lichi, Umufar Lichi. Okay. This is very, very technical, and there are people outside. Maybe my neighbor is going to yell at them. We'll see. Boy, Rabba. Uh, Rabba asks, Ki em lichi umufer lichi. Ah, she says, I'm not eating pizza. And he says, I'm okay, fine, don't eat pizza. So he's mekayim it, and then he's made for it. And he says, actually, wait. No, I don't want that. Velo sochul akom elim ken chala afar, but they're, they're dependent on one another. They, 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 they kind of go hand in hand. That that the kiyum of the of the nether is only relevant if the hafare of the nether is relevant. So they go hand in hand. Mahu. So what's the dilio in that situation? Tashma kovinim. He plucked the Rebbeir of Rebiosi. Well, let's try to tie this into the machlokus between Rebbeir and Rebiosi. The tanan that we learned in Mishnah Arezo Tmuras Ola Tmuras Shlomim. Amazing. If a fellow says that this animal is going to be in, I'm switching it for out for my Ola, right? This will be in place of my Ola. This is going to be in place of my Shlom. He says, Harezo Tumuras Ola Tumuras Shlom. Harezo Tumuras Ola Div Reb Meir. So Reb Meir says that we go based on the uh, first one. 
that it will be Tmuras Ola, it won't be Tmuras Shlom. Rabbi Yossi, Omer says, Rabbi Yossi, Im Lechach Niskav in Mitchilo, that if he intended for both of them, right, to, for it to be together, that it should be the Tmura of an Ola and a Shlomim, since he can't speak two things at once, he has to say one before the other. So he said Ola before Shlom, but he, if he could, he would say them at the same time together. So then it's a Tmura of both an Ola and a Shlomim. What you do is you have to wait for it to graze and then uh, you take its money and with half of it, you buy an Ola and half of it a Shlom. So we see that according to Yossi, um, you sort of this thing where they go in tandem, the Ola and the Shlomim is Shaykh. So also we would say that when he says that, you know, that, um, what do you say? Kiem lichi, umufer lichi, but that they're dependent on one another, that they go hand in hand. So Rabbi Yossi would say that they can go hand in hand as well. Vafilir of Meir lo ko'amar, elad lo amar lo seichul, zo elem kin chola zo. And even a mayor who says that it, it will be a tmur of an ola and not a shlomim, that is only because he didn't say that they're dependent on another, right? Lo zo elim kin chalazo, that this one uh, uh, will only be chal, will only be relevant if this of the other one is also relevant. In this case, where, where he made it clear his intention that he says that the hakome should only be shaykh if the afar is oichit shaykh. That they go hand in hand. Even Rav Meir would say that the um, that the Afara is, is chal and that and that uh, the nether would be mufer. But Rav Rav asks the kasha kaim mufer lichi bevas achas mau. What if he says that I'm being mekayim and being mefer at once bevas achas all at once? So beze uh, where am I? So Tashma the Amar Rav says Rav called over sheinu beze achaz afil bevas achas einu. Well. Since he wouldn't be able to do it one after the other, right? As right, as, uh, right. He wouldn't be able to first be uh, a mikayim and then be a, a, a mefer. Um, so then, right? Meaning the other one, I guess he did it like hand in hand, which I guess is different than like bevas achas. I guess like he made them dependent on each other, which I guess is different than bevas achas, like together. I guess. And since if you would do one after the other, then it wouldn't be chal. So therefore, even if you do them bevas achas, it's not chal. I don't know. It seems pretty technical. What's the difference between hand in hand versus bevas achas versus zeh zeh? Well, zeh zeh means that one and then after the other. So then that wouldn't work. You can't do one and then the other. But then, um, all right. But then, um, okay. So therefore, because you can't do one and then the other, then so you also can't do them vivasachas like at the like at the same time. But you would be able to make them dependent on each other. Okay, those seem to be three different things. Well, friends, that was the Avsamach Tesem. Second time, hope you enjoy. Peace out.